Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Our top story, a boat crashed into a walking pier in Penticton Tuesday night, narrowly missing several people. The incident happened around 10.30 and alcohol is considered to be a contributing factor in the incident. I didn't have enough time to do anything. You know, there was no throttle, no steering. I had the steering wheel crank, but you just, just start tearing a little bit. And yeah, it's just terrible. I'm just, thank God nobody was hurt. That's the most important thing. I wouldn't be here right now if somebody got hurt. The pier is currently closed for repairs and there is no major structural damage. Two teens are being credited with saving their neighbours from a house fire. Titus Calderbank and his friend Danny Holding Mabley spotted the flames coming from the carport. The two friends quickly jumped into action, racing towards the house to see if anyone was inside. We just start running to the house, throw our stuff down, calling 911. We're banging on the door and window trying to get them out and I guess the guy is like freaking out because he was passed out on the couch so he's like like I'm like dude your house is on fire so they ran out they grabbed their dog and stuff we ran out across the street a woman her son and their two pets managed to get out safely the cause of the fire has not been determined a random drive-by shooting on Hine Road is once again putting the notorious area back on the map the incident happened a week ago as bullets sprayed this home police are unsure why the residence was targeted Hine Road has a poor reputation, but regardless of this incident, residents say the street isn't what it's made out to be. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff that happens, but there's stuff that happens in every other neighbourhood. There's a lot of nice people in this area, and everybody keeps their yards nice and clean. I haven't had any problems with nobody. It's been a great experience for me so far. Police are still investigating the drive-by shooting. The second-degree murder trial of Keith Weens is back underway. We go to Rogner Hagen at the Kelowna Courthouse for the latest. The second degree murder trial of Keith Weens got back underway this week with Keith taking the stand in his own defense the past two days relating events and how he say they happened back in August of 2011 when he shot his common law wife Lynn Calmering in the face at their Penticton home that they shared. His testimony ranged from the events of that day saying that she attacked him with a knife and that he had to shoot her in self-defense with a 9mm handgun he kept in their bedroom. Testimony is expected to wrap up on Wednesday of next week before it is given into the jury's hands to decide his fate. Rogner Hagen at the Kelowna Courthouse for Castanet News. Thank you, Rogner. Well, with over 60% of the popular vote, Premier Christy Clark easily won the Westside Kelowna by-election. So thank you. Thank you, Westside Kelowna, for welcoming me with open arms and open hearts. I am so grateful for that. And I am going to do everything that I can, everything that I can, to earn and deserve the support that the people of this community have given to me tonight. Clark ran against seven other candidates. Her main opponent was Carol Gordon of the BC NDP, who received just over 5,000 votes. Clark wasted no time in getting down to business, announcing an additional $1 million for improvements along West Side Road. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.